All right, getting into it. Giovanni Solex here, both really high-ranked players at UCI. Uh, and a, a trip there with the banana that, that Solex managed to get, but a 40% lead, kind of evaporating pretty quickly there. Giovanni managing to even it up, uh, managing to even it up. A good spot dodge by, by Solex is going to avoid the command grab there. Nair catching Giovanni, but not really getting much. Taking the banana and a nice float cancel back air there. Banana and a grab, getting some good damage. A little over 20 there, and another float cancel back air. Solex spacing around some of Giovanni's approach options really well right now. Giovanni getting another banana, but Solex calling it out really well. Uh, having to use an aerial to catch it, Solex knew that and put his forward air uh, right where Giovanni was there. And another back air, actually. Solex managing to space around Giovanni's landing extremely well right now, but Giovanni's still trying to get something started. Kind of running all over the place. Looking for some side Bs in neutral. Trying to get to a position where he can get a banana out safely. Manages to get it. Could be big for Giovanni if he gets something out of it. But just throwing them away. A turn up catching uh, landing there again. Solex punishing some of these options from Giovanni really well. Dash attack almost taking it. Not quite. Getting a banana going right into, into, into Solex. Could it up be there? What a madman. And death. Only at 78%. As Daisy, a huge opportunity to get some extra credit. Command grab going to land there. Some good percent. And another command grab. Giovanni's willing to let the banana go for that. He knows it's going to be there when he gets back, so why not just pressure the shield and start to condition so uh, Down tilt, there. Grab into back air. A nice 44% combo, and that's a good amount of extra credit. You're happy about that if you're Daisy. Especially when you're only at 100. It'll take a banana F smash or something near ledge to kill at this point. Giovanni not really going to have any easy opportunities to take Alexis stock here without taking out a lot of extra damage. Nice parry banana, down throw back air. Like 20 something percent, a lot of damage. And Solex still managing to keep control of the banana. Giovanni answering back with a little combo of his own there, not really getting anything out of it though. Solex still with the banana, another banana grab, forward throw, putting Giovanni off stage, having to air dodge back. Safely approaching there, knowing that if he jumps, it's really risky taking a fair and air there will end him. Giovanni's defensive play, as usual, is on point, but Solex's pressure right now is just incredible. He's in there, he really understands how Giovanni wants to try to get in and get special damage on. But actually, that time Giovanni adapting well, knowing that when he's pulling his banana, Solex is going for punishment on uh, aerial options to grab it, and instead throwing the banana out there and running straight under it for an up smash, knowing that Solex is going to jump up and try to punish him grabbing it. Actually, really smart play for sure. And it's really nice here for Daisy because when she's floating, she doesn't have to throw her items out. She can still throw out aerials. Definitely going to be a lot harder to deal with in that regard than most characters if you're Diddy Kong. Getting a turn up safely there, not getting punished even though he kind of pulled it right in his face. Banana coming down. So let's face him around it. A charged F smash landing. Peanuts. Nice ledge trap trying to get set up here. Not actually getting anything out of it. Giovanni running around here looking for something, but a mistech is going to lead to a forward air and death. Really nice catch by Solex there. And another opportunity to get a lot of extra credit here. Two items on the stage now. Two food items, in fact. But a banana having to be shielded there. Solex getting a grab in, in time. A down tilt into up air forward air. Nice big combo there. A little over 40%, I believe. And that's going to be a lot of extra credit. Might not even have to worry about losing this, this stock at this rate. Solex dominating Giovanni this last stock here. But Giovanni back in neutral, looking for something safe, holding shield with that banana. Solex knows it, and he's happy to just float around and, and land safely anytime that Giovanni's looking to, to punish him with that banana. Back off stage here, Solex again making it back safely. Let's see if he can get off ledge. He does. Giovanni looking for a back air. Solex knowing better. Up smash, still going to catch a, a, one of those more aggressively spaced back airs from Solex. 100% lead on Daisy, that is a big deal. You can end the game easily. The downs are looking for a spike on, on maybe a missed tech or something along those lines. Not actually catching anything. And a forward smash going to sneak through Solex's shield there. Maybe a, a drop a little bit early. Turnups, uh, Solex still happy just to play neutral the way he has been. Just trying to look for some hits. He knows he only needs to land a couple of stray hits at this point to get something big on Giovanni with this big of a percent lead. Turnip sending him off stage, attacking on the percent as well, looking for a forward air and back air, not finding it, trying to call out a jump with the side B, but again, Giovanni knowing better than to jump at ledge. He's really smart that way, not running into your aggressive options, but looking for the banana. Maybe trying to bait something by not jumping immediately, but nonetheless, Solex calling out the jump with some variety. Going up 1-0 convincingly, but it is a little concerning when you saw Giovanni start to adjust pretty well. He wasn't getting any hits in early on that game, manages to actually almost bring it back toward the end there. Solex going up 1-0.
Game two here, same characters. I didn't see the stage. Looks like Smashville. An interesting counter pick from Jovan. I don't really know if he did tennis as a counter pick or, or whether or not he could. Probably he's a really smart player. I don't really understand the reasons why for this stage, but I'm sure he does. I'm sure there's something. Maybe those platforms on the side are going to be helpful for Diddy to get some setups on the ledge. And looking again to get some neutral started. Safely holding banana, looking to get some early percent, maybe with a Yep. Banana dash attack, that's the tried and true. You can actually combo that into some aerials as well if it doesn't have gone by it. But Jolux being in the right place there, managing not to take some extra damage for it. Getting a turnip out here, but already Giovanni looking better. Playing a little more safely. And there spacing actually is aerial uh, very well to manage to grab the banana, but not be in the range of Jolux's aerials also. Looking for a side B to get some extra damage. Getting a little combo started here, 23%, nothing big, but still considerable. Daisy can turn the match on you instantly, maybe looking to call out an unsafe landing there. Not managing to do it, instead getting punished himself. Banana in the grab again, down throw, back airs, and good percent coming out from Soul X. Another banana, actually, seeming to always go for grab. Understandable, it's a guarantee. If and Daisy, it's just really nice to put your opponent in a disadvantageous position when you control it, uh, as you do with a grab. It's just, it's just really, really nice. And actually pulling a Mr. Saturn. Scary going to catch Giovanni shielding. A big deal. Missing a forward smash, but it won't matter. That's going to catch him. And throwing the Mr. Saturn out. Interesting. But definitely coming in clutch there because Giovanni likes to run around with that man and shield. He does not like to jump and give you free hits with your hits. He's really, really clever about where he's where he's going when he's in disadvantage or even trying to reset the control. Trying to Get a little bit off his bananas here, not really finding anything. And both players kind of just slugging at each other there. It looks like maybe Solex getting the better half of that, especially, again, pretty much a full stock lead. Huge start from Solex. That Mr. Saturn really questions it out. And it's really unfortunate for Diddy when, when a character like Davy gets a stock lead. And the player is really getting around the banana as well because they're just going to get one combo and suddenly you're going to be in a horrible position just like that. The float cancel in there actually going to character running really early, getting the sweet spot there on ledge. Pretty bad. And already almost the start of another combo. Even getting 36.3, good adaptation by Solex here, understanding that he kind of messed up his foot cancels with his nair there, still managing to adapt with the grab and back air. And almost a full two stock lead coming up here. Banana and the grab, that's the classic. He may be looking for a forward throw, but Giovanni going to back air. Throwing some peanuts to try to pressure Solex at the layer here, at the ledge here. Banana not getting anything side the off stage, up he's right back in, gets a stock for his troubles. Pretty interesting choice by Giovanni. It's the second time he's done that sort of thing in that position when he's high B's off stage after having control of the ledge. But that's most likely not going to stop Solex. It would take a really serious comeback at this point for Giovanni to find that. And he's sort of just throwing out hitboxes a little uncharacteristic. Maybe a little shaken by Solex's facing. Banana grab, there you have it again. He managed to keep the banana. That's part of why it's so good. And just waiting with an up smash. A great read by Solex. Going to take it 2-0. Really nice game for both players. Solex definitely understanding how to play around Diddy, how to how to space around his, his combos, how to stay safe from those bananas, and most importantly, how to punish some of Diddy's defensive options. And up next, we have a hype match. And I'm excited to commentate that one. Good stuff from Solex, though.